Minnesota farmers are getting ready for spring planting and most hope to be in the field by mid-April. But some farmers could be planting a different crop this year. John Lawrenson shows us how Russia's invasion of Ukraine is impacting farming here. I think farmers tend to be what I call an internal optimists. Coming off one of the worst droughts on record, a wet spring is exactly what Minnesota corn and soybean fields need, especially with commodity prices the highest they've been in years. They're booming. Uh, uh, wheat prices as we have not seen in well over a decade. Wheat could be more popular than ever before. Both Russia and Ukraine are two of the biggest wheat exporters in the world. But if war keeps them from planting this spring, some farmers here may look to fill the void. There might be some uh, producers in the northwestern part of the state who haven't secured their nitrogen and all their fertilizer needs to plant corn or, or other crops and wheat might be a last, a good last minute fill in in those acres. Ed Ussett is a grain market economist with the University of Minnesota. He says the climate in Russia and Ukraine is similar to our state, which makes it conducive to wheat, especially in the Northwest. It's also a cheaper crop to plant here, but farmers who do decide to go that route will also have to take into account the rising costs of things like fertilizer and fuel unexpected decisions to be made for some Minnesota farmers thanks to a conflict on the other side of the world. As they go into planting season this year, they're not only looking at incredibly good prices, volatile prices, they're also looking at input costs they haven't seen in uh, maybe ever. In Stearns County, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Us, it says consumers should expect to see higher prices for bread and flour in the future based on what's happening between Russia and Ukraine.